Hi everyone, it's Joel again, and today's video is using Adobe Premiere Pro. And what we're doing is we're taking a video that's already been made, and we're just taking little clips out of it, um, just a few second clips, maybe four or five second clips, and putting it together in a 20 minute, 25 minute trailer, putting some music on the end of that, and um, just something fun to watch. Okay, so I'm gonna start off in Premiere Pro over here. I'm gonna click on New Project. And all these settings can stay the same, that's not a big deal. I'm just gonna give it a name and I'm gonna just kinda of call it my trailer. And you could you can choose where you want it to go if you want to, that's fine for me. And I'll press OK, and that will get Premiere up and running. So this is Premiere Pro, and you're looking at four main pa uh, windows here. This is the source monitor where we have a look at our individual videos and pick out our clips. This is our program window where we look through the entire movie. That's the program monitor, I should say. This is our timeline where we create sequences. We haven't got any sequences yet. And we've got some various other tabs here as well. Now mine's actually on effects. I'm gonna switch to the first tab, which is project my trailer. And this is where we start bringing in all our media, whether it's uh, audio files or pictures or video. So I'm just gonna double click inside this area here to bring it up and I'm going to go to my videos, my, my video folder where I've got this video here that I've taken um, on how to do logos in Illustrator. So I'm going to double click on that to bring that video into Premiere. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on this video. And once I've done that, I now have my clip in the in the source monitor here. And I've got my playhead here that I can scrub through. You can hear the sound there as it's going through. And I'm looking for the start of my clip. Now, I'm not gonna put a lot of thought into this. I'm not really bothered by, um, by where it's starting and finishing. Obviously, if you're doing this properly, you would be very careful about where you have your start and end points and where you would do your clips and where you'd have your music and what beats had come in. I'm just gonna show you the quick process of doing it. So I'm gonna start about there and I'll press this left bracket here, mark in, that says that this is the beginning of the clip. Now I want, I don't know, about a four second clip. Now I could drag this playhead to four seconds. This is, right now, this is at the two minute, three second mark. And if I, I could make it to the two minute, seven mark and that would be four seconds and that's fine, I'll right click that, and then I'm gonna press this button over here to insert. But it hasn't done anything, and it hasn't done anything because I haven't actually set up a timeline. So look what's gonna happen, I'm gonna drag this video into my timeline to create a new sequence. And in fact, what we've got is not the whole video, I've actually got just the four seconds that I've asked, or the three second, 23.29, um, which is fine, because that was the clip that I wanted. Um, now, there's a couple of things. I don't want audio on this. So if I click this and press delete, it's gonna delete the whole thing, which is not what I want. So I'm just gonna undo that, edit undo. Um, I'm gonna alt click the audio block here and now press delete. And so that's just deleted the audio there. And I'm gonna turn this A1 off which means the next, the next clips that will come in will just come in with the video here, the V1, not the audio. And I'm actually gonna extend this sequence out a bit, so I'm just gonna stretch it out. Um, I want mine to be about 20 seconds, so around about here, so that, that's big enough. So that's the sort of size block that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna find another clip, something a bit different. Maybe something like that. Mark it in. And this time, instead of dragging it and trying to find four seconds, I'm actually gonna click on this timer here, and I'm gonna write plus 400, which tells Premiere, take it forward four seconds. So now it's actually jumped four seconds, and it's hard to say because this is quite a long um, video. It goes for about 12 minutes, and four seconds out of 12 minutes is not very much. But that is, you can take up my word for it, that's four seconds afterwards, so we'll press mark out and we'll press this button here now to insert that. Uh, actually, before I do, I'm just gonna get this playhead and put it over here at the end, and I'll press insert, and there we go. It's nicely there, so I've got my two clips. Start with that, then go with that. All right. Actually, I've got a little bit at the end there, which isn't good, so I'm just gonna zoom in. 
just to find that, I'll click on it and delete it. Okay. And we'll get to the end there, ready to go for my next one. Stretch it out again. Okay, so let's find another one. We'll go to another four seconds, something a bit different looking. So we may be there. Left, uh, cl click on the mark in. I'll go plus 400 again. Now mark it out and insert that one in. Where's my insert button? There we go. And we'll do another one. So let's go forward a bit like that. Let's click that, mark in, plus 400, mark out and insert. And what are we at now? 16 seconds. We could probably do one more bit. So let's try and find something a bit different like that. So I'll mark that in, press four, plus 400, mark it out and insert it. Okay, so there are my, what is it, five clips. Five clips of four seconds each takes me to about 20 seconds. There's that one, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. Okay, so what next? Let's do some transitions. So I'm gonna go to my effects tab here and under this folder I've got video transitions. And there's a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna to go to wipe actually and I'm gonna to go to, let's have a look down. Uh, let's just do a normal wipe and I'm just going to put that and drag it in between these two clips and let go and there's my wipe and if I scrub through it you can see there's a nice simple little wipe like that okay let's try something else let's do an iris so I'll go to iris and I'll do an iris round and I'll put that between the next two clips and as you can see here we've got an iris round now it's actually hard to see that's probably not a good one actually because these two are almost exactly the same. So I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna try something different. Uh, maybe a cube spin, that's always a fun one. Let's put that there, and now we can see a cube spin, that's good. Um, next one, let's go to a page peel maybe, let's do a page turn, put that between the next two, let's see what that looks like, nice. And then between this one and this one's quite a different one, so I think I'll do the iris one for that one. So I'll do an iris round here, and there we go lovely okay so i've got my transitions between each one that's very nice um, next thing is we're going to do some music and we're going to do some titles and i'll do that one in the next movie